hello guys my name is Arsalan welcome back to my channel and today we are going to solve a new lead code question that is power of 3 we will be solving this question with the help of JavaScript the question says given an integer and return true if it is a power of 3 otherwise return false an integer n is a power of 3 if there exists an integer x such that n is equal to 3 power x so what we have to do here actually we have to just prove this thing here that n is equal to 3 power x so 3 power some value is equal to n that all we have to that's all we have to prove in here so you see that n is equal to 27 so uh, 3 power something is equals to n that's why it is true 3 power 3 is equals to 27 uh, uh, But if you see here in example number 2 n is equals to 0 so 3 power x is equals to 0 but there is no uh, There is no x where x 3 power x is equals to 0. That's why we will return it as a false statement and when n uh, n is equals to minus 1 we will say that it is a false because 3 power x is not equal to minus 1 so that's why we have written it as a false statement so let's starting solving this question guys just before starting solving this guys do subscribe to the channel hit the like button press the bell icon button and bookmark the playlist so that you can get the updates from the channel so I will take my well is equal to something and that something would be I will be telling you uh, in a comment section here so my value would be that if you take this here n is equal to 3 power x you see n is equal to 3 power x in, instead of x I will say that 3 power well and if I take log both side it will be log and is equals to uh, well into log 3 then it will give me well is equals to log n by log 3 again so there this is my value here and I will put it here okay so since we will only dealing with the positive value I will say that if n is greater than 0 let it let me write it in here so control X and I will paste it here now next step would my be that I will take another variable that will be my result and I will say that the decimal value of the value and the integer value of the value will give me a result of 0, 0.0 then it will return true else it will return false so whatever I am saying you I will show it to practically what actually I am saying so I will say well minus number well and that means that if example number 1 is 27 it will give me 27 power 0 my 27.0 uh, minus 27 will give me a, a value of 0 okay so well is not 27 well is actually 3 so 3 minus 3 <coughs> so well is what well is 3 log n uh, log n log 27 by log 3 will give us uh, 3 and we will say that uh, well minus log uh, and num well will give us power uh, 3.3.0 minus 3 will give us 0 so if it is 0, 0.0 then it will return true else it will return false so return result is equal to 0, 0.0 and run the code now and we have we should take math.log instead math.log because in javascript we write as math.log for math functions because it is a mathematical function in javascript so it says that 0 is undefined undefined 
and false false so uh, instead of putting this here we can remove this thing and and that let's run this code so that we can get our answer so instead of taking it because we are also dealing with the negative value and zero as well so uh, I just have put it because I was thinking that we are not considering 0 or minus 1 however we are also considering both of those values so let's consider that and we have got our answer however so this was all in the question guys hope you have liked the video hope you have understood the concept and thank you guys for watching the video see you next time